Hello guys, Solitary Gamer here, and today I would like to talk about the most unexpected trap I've ever seen. I like to think of this as ultimate trap. So usually I'm pretty good at determining who's a trap when I watch anime, read manga, or play visual novels. I'm shocked people are that surprised when, I, when the trap is so obvious. So when I found out this person was a trap, I was really surprised. How There was one time where I failed to realize that this person was a trap. So, I was watching a popular H anime, Gaku, Gakuen Simon Rado. And if you don't know what H anime is, I, I basically it's 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 pretty easy to, to know what it stands for. I just can't say that word because YouTube does not like that word when I when I say it. So, well, for that H anime, the main character was being bullied by a certain guy and also being looked down by several girls. So one day he gets a magical cell phone from his father that will allow him to hypnotize anyone he wants to and to make them follow his command. So obviously he used it to get revenge on the girls. So in episode 1 and in episode 2 he got revenge on the girls and that was, that was pretty sweet. But then in episode 3 I was a little bit confused because there was suddenly a new girl that was not in the previous episodes. She was oh, well. She was shown like for a brief scene ep in, at, at the end of at, at the end of episode two. But I mean, it's kind of like she came out of nowhere. So this girl was a futanari, which means I mean, a futanari is a female with male lower with male lower body parts. I don't really enjoy those scenes with futanaris because that's not really my thing. But you know, I kind of moved on with my day and I didn't really think much about it. But it still kind of bothered me that I still had no idea why that girl was suddenly introduced. So upon reading the reviews and, and comments about that H anime, I learned something mind-blowing. That the girl who was a Futanari was actually the bully that kept bullying the guy at the beginning of the series. So remember when I was talking about there was a guy, the main character was being bullied by a guy and several girls? Well, that bullied that bully turned out to be the Futanari. So people found this out by looking up information in the original source material, which was the visual novel. So the visual novel was made first, obviously, and then, then a H anime was adapted based on it. So what the main character did to that male bully off screen was he hypnotized the guy, made him change his gender to female, but keep his lower male body parts. And after I realized that, I was pretty mind blown. I had never seen a trap like that before. I have to say, that's pretty, that's like one of a kind. I then realized that the face of the guy and the girl were kind of similar. And I was like, whoa, why didn't I catch that before? Should have caught that they were the same person. I actually found this kind of funny. It's like, whenever. I play visual novels or watch H anime. I never really know if, if that person's person's really a girl now. But congrats to whoever made that H anime. You made the ultimate trap that hardly anyone would ever notice. And it really wasn't obvious, by the way, because that person's face was really girly and they sound girly. And I would be shocked if anyone if anyone realized that guy was a that person was a guy without reading the comments on a forum or looking up information in the original source. And that person's name, by the way, is Aihara Shoko. Uh, Aihara Shoko. So that's all I wanted to talk about for today. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.